pay my phone bill and my rent with the same people. I was praying for Christian friends. I know that I'm a Christian now. I want me a bag with this one, Christ. Speak to me like that. In the name of the Lord. Don't be our chance. Don't be our chance. She's sleeping over you. Elizabeth and that adventure. Hey guys! Come on. Welcome back to my channel. Today. It's gonna be our channel soon. It's gonna be our channel. She's taking over here. Elizabeth and that adventures. Yay! 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 Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, welcome back to my channel guys and today I'm with Natalie in our new flat. Natalie, I feel like I need a Natalie the Natalie the Do you know what I mean? Because you've got Elizabeth the right eye. Natalie the Natalie, come on, Natalie the My side man. That's what I am, isn't it? Um, no, but yeah, guys, we're we're, today we're doing a, this video is a get ready with me chit chat. And we spoke a lot. We just spoke a lot. So I'm sorry, guys, if it's a we're bit choppy. We're talking niche. Absolute niche. No, we actually did speak about some cool we stuff. We spoke about, we spoke about like, what did we speak about? Like finding our like own identities, like outside of relationship and then kind of finding In relationship. It, yeah. And then finding it through. I think I spoke well. about relationships a bit. Yeah. <laughs> and we spoke about like <laughs> this past year and like our growth. What else do we speak about? Little, little bits of chitter, little bit of chatter, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Because Scouts, a lot of it as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll introduce Chantel later. <laughs> <laughs> so watch this video and see all what we discussed, spoke about, and yeah, enjoy the video. This is really good for your skin. Got it from Boss Man. I've been seeing people. I did you actually? Well, you got it from Boss Man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I had the one in hair shop. Yeah, like a hair man boss man shop. Let's talk about what we're excited for this year. I I feel like this year is going to be like a new chapter. And I'm you know what? Into it. I was saying that this year that I've had, this past year, like, has been one of the best years yet, ever. The year that's just gone. Aww. I feel like I've come. <laughs> Sorry, every time you say something serious, <laughs> Okay, I have this bad habit. <laughs> I have this bad habit. It's like when I feel like people are going to tell me something serious. I get scared that I'm gonna laugh, and I do you know what I mean. It's just that I get nervous, I think, and it's just like I, oh, I've I feel the that. emotion to laugh. Like go on, this past year, and I'm like, oh, yeah, be my best year. Oh, okay. a year that I've like focused on myself completely. So good, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's like I feel like I've come most like my character now. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, whereas all the years previously, you're just sort of finding yourself, finding what you like, who you are. Do you know what I mean? And then like I got into a relationship. And it changed everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that you laugh because I just try not to. He said I that. feel like being in a relationship, yeah. This is what Loretta's brother said. Shout out Ben. That when you're in a relationship, it's like having like it's when you one is when you find out most about yourself because it's like having like a mirror put up to you with like all your flaws, imperfections, self doubts, like insecurities. Yeah. Like everything about yourself that you didn't really know that you needed to work on yeah. sort of like brings to light because you're, like, you're with that person all the time. Before you get into a relationship, you should like know yourself, like you shouldn't be relying on that person. You should bring know. It out. Yeah, like, exactly. But then are. I feel like I feel like you need to go through certain relationships and yeah, certain situations. Yeah. Situations? That's, yeah, that's word. Oh, <laughs> I'm actually saying. Maybe <laughs> you just like question it. Um, yeah, you need to go through those certain situations to unlock. Those like levels of yourself, do you know what I mean? Levels. Like peeling the onion. You need to get to the core. Layers. And I feel like a relationship is a, the best part, the best place to do that, really. Mm, I don't know. I feel like I have to Not it. Dating and like, like you shouldn't expect to go into a relationship to find out more about yourself. You should kind of like learn about, like, of course, like you go through a relationship, you go through life experiences and you learn from them. But I don't feel like you should go into relationships thinking, like, oh, it's fine, like, you know, I'm gonna. I don't I'm only gonna... go into relationships. I'm only, I'm using you to know me. Do you know what I mean? I'm, that's <laughs> I'm saying, <laughs> like, and it's not even just okay, yeah, just yeah. relationships. Relationships could mean with anyone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Friendships, family members, relationship with God. I feel like that's been one of my best years as well. Why it's been one of my best years? Because yeah. I really established my relationship with God this year. Praise to God, yeah. And I feel like that's actually helped me the most. Like knowing God has helped know me as well, which has been yeah, yeah. great. You know, all those days you just you don't really can't really be asked. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Like usually I'm just I'm so into it. Like today I'm just. We're doing this for you guys. Yeah, so I mean, it is only, it's like, no, no, it's it's only half nine. 
<laughs> you were talking about like how you felt like you got a lot closer to God this year, and yeah, honestly, and I, I feel like that that, 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 that that helped me a lot as well, like find myself, like be so much more secure in myself as well. Yeah, I know. Because like, sure. I feel like that's what people talk about when they say that like, oh, you need to know yourself before you get in a relationship. Because yeah. I did not last year. Oh, Young yeah. and naive. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's so true. And I feel like you get a newfound confidence, do you know what I mean? 100%. It's like, you don't look for se- like security and like, and like validation. Validation in guys yeah. at all. Like kind at of all. like, do you know what I mean? Like you know you're, you're like, just like, working on yourself. Made, like, do you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, for sure. So yeah, that helped me a lot. Like it helped me like even come out of my shell a little bit and like just be like more confident, be like my whole self, do you know what I mean? Like even, because I always have been, but yeah, to just embrace who I am. Just embrace me weirdness, embrace me clownness. And being around like like minded people, I feel like that's what really like we've all said this year. Yeah. Listen a really sweet message in the group chat the other day. I mean Oh can I read it? Keep it. Oh no, I was probably no, so cute though. When I was becoming Christian as well. Not becoming Christian, but sort of like securing like my faith and what like I believed and my own relationship with God and whatnot. I was sort of like started to question like the people I was hanging around with, like the conversations I was having. Yeah. I was praying for Christian friends. Yeah. And like the way that this year has turned out and how now I'm living with three other really strong Christian women. It's jummy. It's just it's great. Yeah, it's so heartwarming and it's so just fun. Like, it's just so nice. It's just like wow, this was the plan and this was the plan all along. Yeah, exactly. Really? This is meant to be. Yeah. So so nice. Because it's crazy because like all of us, other than like you and the right obviously, and like the right and all like. We didn't know each other a year ago. Yeah, we've 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 been friends less than a year. Just, well, yeah, just literally less, less than a year. Like eleven months. Yeah, because that's mad. <laughs> that's, Crazy. that's actually mad, and it just shows. We like, met in church as well. We met in church as well, and it just shows like this past year has been absolute growth. Like that is, if, if I could say what the, like, like if I could say one word for this past year, it would be growth, hundred percent. Like when you look back, you just think. You need like you need everything to happen the way it did. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, I regret this, I regret that. But it's like, just, I'm like, so time. appreciative of, of everything that's Honestly, happened. Like, even the bad, too. even like the complete bad parts. Hundred percent. Because you're just like, wow, like look how God brought me out of that. Yeah, no, for sure. If anything, it just and showed it just, like his like faithfulness. Do you know exactly. What I mean? And it was to make you a whole lot closer because you'll keep like you'll grow your faith in it. Yeah. For sure. During the bad times. Yeah. I mean, time heals everything, guys. It does. That's my biggest. That's my go-to line when I'm comforting people. <laughs> Sorry, can I just say like I know you guys will probably see me use my fingers, but I use my fingers to do my eyeshadow. Like povo. I just look. Yeah, I look like a povo because I'm using my fingers, but it's just a habit. Sorry. Been your highlight this year? Um, I don't know. You know, like that is such a hard question. In like what in terms of like because I feel like there's big small achievements here and there, um, but actual highlight like. Highlight. Oh, okay, like that was lit. Lit. I used to hate the word lit, and I use it all the time. I use it all the time. Liddy. Liddy committee. Oh, wait, I was going to read the message. I thought she forgot. I thought she forgot. <laughs> she sent a little vlog in. Ah, oh, that's so cute. The one of you and Law. Yeah. That's when you first came to Oxford, isn't it? Yeah. I remember that so much. Okay, well. can I explain it to them quickly so they're not confused? You guys look back at my old videos, right? Um, I posted a video and it's so it's so nice to see and I'm so happy that I started documenting my vlog and stuff more but you can kind of see the progression the first vlog of this year it said um how I tell us at my 2019 tell me why it came to that nah, you are so distracting you absolute child yeah so we went like in November time and then tell me why like a month later in December not nah, please no, I'm uh, actually being annoying <laughs> oh so we met in like November time <laughs> Do it. So annoying that. Childish, that's what I am. You're gonna look back at this, people are gonna be like, why is she no. so childish? So, I, I am. I'm actually childish. Yeah. Cool. So we met in like November time, right, at church. Tell me why December time. <laughs> I'm already going to go to Loretta's house in Oxford to spend, <laughs> to spend New Year's with her. <laughs> <laughs> why are you coming first? <laughs> So we ended up going what to Los for New Year's year and this is what came for so <laughs> Now you definitely hated yourself Because <laughs> she was in Oxford with Oxford. Oxford with Kida, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oxford with Kida. Shout out Kida. Shout out Kida. And then um <laughs> she ended up coming as well. And we all spent like 
the years ago, but it was so nice. I'll leave a link below to the vlog. And also just go back and watch the video. It's called, I think it's, it's called How I Started My 2019. It's something cute, oh, yeah. cute like that, yeah. Cute. And then, and it was just so nice to see. Like, we came back to uni like the next year. And um, yeah, we're just like always coming around to your flat. And then there's Olive as well. And Olive is how I met these two, like through church. We did like a young adults event or like a youth event at our church. Olive like told them to come. We met then. Got to like March time and we all went on holiday for Barcelona. We went to Barcelona for the birthday. For Loretta's birthday. Yeah. Loft is what we call Loretta for short, by the way, in case they're wondering who's oh, Loft yeah. that we keep saying. Yeah. Yeah. So we went to Barcelona in like March time and then comes to summer, um, I move into your flat because I basically have to leave my flat. <laughs> But that's when we became closer. Yeah, and then we became so like I moved into theirs over like over summer, and then Lorette had gone home, and Olive came with us for a little bit just before we flew out. Help me, help me, Jesus! Yeah, and then we got really close over summer as well, like even closer. And then it comes to like August, and we all go to Portugal together, and it's just so nice to see mm -hmm. it. And like we have vlogs like through the year, and it's just like you see the friendship we'll building, and, building. Mm -hmm. and then. God just works in great ways and now we're all living together all four of us and it's just like it happens so organically mm. so naturally like like sometimes I'm, uh, it's hard isn't it <laughs> this english <laughs> language is hard isn't it <laughs> it's not my <your> first language <laughs> first language childish <laughs> literally you can read the thing she just said some cute stuff do you know what i mean she just said love you all basically yeah are you a relationship person who me yeah um what, do you mean? what does that mean though? When you get people that just are always in relationships. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I know you're definitely one of those. I'm definitely not. But I mean, like, do you want one? Then we get one. Ooh, the shade. Okay. Ooh, the shade. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, how am I doing? Um, Shout out me, MCM, wherever you are. Or wherever you are. I hope you're listening, babes. You're so disgusting. <laughs> yeah, she was gagged. Absolutely, someone. No, but back to your question. Am I a relationship person? I kind of think like, I think right now it's like I know what I want. Do you know what I mean? You go into it knowing that there's certain things that you look for. Do you know what I mean? There's certain core yeah, things. Yeah, of course. And then obviously there's, there's the whole thing to be the first like. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like I'm Check aware boxes. of. I'm boxes. aware of what they are. I know that I want a Christian now. You, you know, know what? Yeah, I. I, I thought do. that as well when when I what because <laughs> because of my MCM. <laughs> my MCM is not. I think in an ideal world, I hundred percent want one. Do no, that's know? the thing. Like it's such a tricky thing because I don't want to say long. So like me. long term speaking, I want a Christian because I want to be able to bring my kids up Christian. But then in the same breath, I I sort I I I I, I, I a part of me doesn't. A part of me doesn't want to bring my kids up Christian. I want to. I can't let it at all. No, but I sort of want to let them find their own path because yeah, that, like I like that. I get that, but then at the same time, do you know how refreshing it is? Like, do you know? Like, I know, but how like how yeah, nice? So there's it be? one thing. There's one thing bringing up your like your kids like Christian and in a Christian household. With your husband. Then like, like yeah, do you know what I mean? And like, it's not a kind of thing you're forcing it down their throat. They're still yeah. gonna have to find their own relationship with God. Mm. But being like, you know what, kids, like this is what brought me out of this time in my life and this is what yeah, like, this course. is the god that i serve this is god that i love and it's because of my love for god that i want to share that with you guys do you know what i mean rather than exactly. like i got that yeah do you know what i mean my mum was christian and then she completely didn't force it on us at all like we went to church when we were younger kind of thing but then it stopped at an age where we sort of knew what church was so many kids that would resent god because it's something oh that i had to go to church and yeah i had to pray and like it, it's do you know what I mean it's sort of but I it feel, becomes like a chore. But I don't feel like that's because um their families have shared it with them. I feel like it's the fact that their families haven't really taken the time to like let them have their freedom of expression. Do you know what I mean? Because there's one thing about religiously doing something and then there's another thing about sharing a relationship. My parents want to raise their like kids as Christians and stuff like that, but then they think by making them do this and making them do that and restricting them from doing things will mean that like they're hundred percent gonna grow into this like well rounded Christian that they like yeah. would hope for their kids. It's just hard to like find a well, then. in between. When I have kids I'll know. Or like you just learn in the process, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know mean, for sure. Still got a while to think about it as well. Yeah. Shout out to mums out there, do you know what I mean? Shout yeah. out to mums. Shout out to my mum. Shout out to my mum. We can make that choice for dinner. Could we actually? Should yeah. we just do a whole Mexican thing? Yeah, we have like, wraps already like though. Really, no, not wraps. We'll do like a really nice salad. 
And then, like, and then we'll do like nachos, nachos like, cheese, and then guacamole. Like, and, like a veggie chili. Yeah. Like, I'm into that. I'm so into that. It's really light right now. But our so podcast is going to be okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. I look crazy. You speak. <laughs> you speak. <laughs> <laughs> but I just sort this all out. <laughs> we started this video and you've been like, what are you most excited about this year? And then I started rambling on about last year. We never asked you a question. What's, what are you most excited about for this year? Did we ask you? asked me that. <laughs> no, you asked me that. Did I? Did you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. How long ago was that? <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? Okay, so we. Damn! <laughs> we make each other laugh. I know. We're not, fun we're not funny. We're not funny. Actually, I think I. Look at me. I think I'm flipping hilarious. This is me after every rubbish joke I make. No. Crying. I think I'm funny. I think we're both funny, to be fair. I think you're funny. Oh, we're both fine. We're both fine. Oh, I'll give you that. Yes, but I'm like, oh, because I still look crazy. <laughs> no, you're really actually funny. Oh, thanks, babe. I love a lot of what you're thinking through your face. You're really facially expressive. Fine. I feel, like, I feel like I'm not facially expressive, you know. But I know am that. I? I don't think I am. It's because you've got such a poker face. You're so good at lying. <laughs> I am. I will give you that. Um, <laughs> until you get to know me, then I just can't lie. Yeah. And now I know when to question it. I used to lie all the time. I don't really lie anymore, though. Yeah. I feel like you don't really have much of a need to. I feel like I know everything now. So what are you lying to me about? I'm an honest person now. So and I learn from a relationship. Uh, up next. Sorry for the lies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate confrontation. Okay. I hate it. Like, I would only ever, if I ever lie, it's only to avoid, like, there being a thing. No, it's, it's either to avoid like hurting someone else's feelings. Aww. Can we get the audience going, aww, in the background? Aww. Yeah. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the, them going, yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's either to avoid hurting someone's feelings or um, avoid getting told off. I don't want to be told off. I don't want to be shouted at. And like, yeah, I don't like arguing with people either. So like, if I can avoid arguing, I, like I would. I look like a hot mess. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm hot to this. I'm done. This is so I look like every day. So I look like when I go to the club. That's when you wake up in the morning. When I go to church. When I go to school. So you go, you've really not been wearing makeup recently. Love it. I'm bracing after a look. Thanks, girl. Lol, when I was watching, when I was listening to the podcast the yeah. receipts. Shout out to the receipts podcast. Hey. They were talking about dating a roadman. And they were first saying like the perfect guy would be a roadman that's found God. <laughs> Which oh, is so and they were so talking true. about I want me a bad boy that's found Christ and yeah. like, he's still like, do you know what I mean? Still about it. Still about still it. Still about it, but he's just that reformed guy, do you know what I mean? But he's still got that kind of Don't like, speak to me like that. Tough, in like, the name of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> don't get everywhere. Absolutely. Like, hair's flying <laughs> up thing. Yeah, I can see it, but I can see it. I'm going to get you another one from town today because... I got two. I'm back up. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. You're actually stupid. So let them see you. Cry. Oh my god, she's actually crying. She's actually crying. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's this one time, yeah? That like, nah. What were you doing? You put your arm out to go reach for your phone. And I was like, yay, cuddling time. And then I went into, <laughs> I went into cuddling and bed to fall asleep. And she was just like, I'm going to get my phone up, reaching out my heart. And I was like, oh, that was so comfy here. I don't know why, like, her arm in red, but it was how Steve Irving is in Trump's bed. Anyways, guys, we're signing off now. I hope you like that. But and we're gonna have so many more like videos of us, and also like the other girls because they're moving in literally next week. So you're going to see more of us and the girls, and just us doing up. You look pretty. I know that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for you. Anyways, we're done here, guys. So see you later. It's Bye. been great. Okay, we're actually signing off now. See you later. It's been fun. It's been real. It's been great. Gucci. Okay, we're going. You say bye. <laughs> say bye. Please edit that out. Oh, that's so cringy. Keep it in. No, don't. Honestly, don't. Oh, How am I going to get MCM with that? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> how am I going to get married with that? Say bye. <laughs>